Trail fans, I'm Michelle Margot, and welcome to Behind the Cape Football Training Camp 2013. Coverage brought to you by Muscle Milk. We're here at Manchester Field taking a behind the scenes look at day one of camp. A uh, typical day at training camp, you know, you wake up early, get some breakfast, um, you know, shake out the, the bumps and bruises and, you know, get yourself prepared for the work day and get your mind right. Go out there and just do your thing. We were voted uh, by the coaches in the league as preseason favorites, which is nice. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, we've got a target on our back. We like it. I'd rather be being voted number one than being voted last. You just got to expect that you're the best and play like you're the best and so you got to practice that way, train that way and study that way and I'm sure it'll come out fine. Everyone's, everyone's got their mind right. Oh, it's good to have Reggie Bell back so watch out for Reggie Bell and uh, we got a new receiver Chase Smith who was making some crazy grabs in spring so I'm excited to see him. You are now on the offensive side of the ball after playing three years on the defensive side of the ball. What has that transition been like for you? Um, it's been really easy. Uh, offense has been really accepting and uh, just on the grindstone, memorizing the playbook. The coaches have been really helpful. Um, but I, I played a lot of scout tight end, so I you know, did my toes in the water before I got out there. So it was an easy transition. So this is your second year in a row being picked for the all PFL first team. So how does that feel? It's good. It's good. I mean, I was extremely excited when I saw it. Uh, some of the guys let me know before I actually even saw it. but. Really, it was last year, and it's, it has nothing to do with this year, and I'm ready to get to work. Uh, Coach Lindsay's a little bit more rough around the edges, but I think that's good for the guys, and we need someone that's going to be stirring out there on the field. Uh, you can already see a lot of changes. He's sped up the tempo way more. Everyone's running around. There's no walking, no taking knees. He's, he's real old school, but it's good. It's good. It keeps everyone disciplined. Well, I think uh, the expectations of the University of San Diego is always to win the conference. And with the FCS playoffs, on top of that, that's an added bonus. 